You know, Coach, I mean, again, like, uh, you know, I think about the blessings that God's given you and, and, and Cornerstone University. You mentioned these, these players, you know, and, and I, I start to think about all of them bought into you. And these players that you've had over the years did buy into you is because you invested into them, believed in each of those players. Um, to me, that was the one thing that I noticed right front and center in, in my time here at Cornerstone. But when you, when you think and reflect on um, the players that you've impacted, you know, we've talked about the men that you, you've had over the years. Uh, you still have many, many tight friendships with a lot of the players. You know, talk a little bit about the friendships after basketball because as you know it's it's come and gone talk a little bit about that it is you know it's it, you come and go you were here for four years and you're gone it's those friendships that are you know it goes beyond basketball you know basketball brought us together basketball brought you here we would have never known each other if it weren't for you know basketball. this great game of basketball yeah. but <clears throat> just seeing you guys you know graduate and again like we said, I said before, growing up and having your own families and your, you know, your own vocation and and getting involved in the community and the church. Um, but just seeing you guys come back and sit in stands and uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it is very cool. But yeah, it's it's you know friendships that you develop. You know, as a coach, you're not you're not their friend necessarily. You're there to teach them, mentor them. Um, but after they graduate, you know, you can have that friendship and you and I have that friendship and mm -hmm. it's pretty special.